The 6.5 is on the road here at HP Imagine, here in the HP garage where innovation started. Silicon Valley started here. The whole idea of garage innovation started right here. The plaque says so on the front. Are you feeling it? I'm feeling it, Dan, and I'm really impressed with all the innovations that have come out at the show so far. We've got consumer, we have commercial, we have print, we have full uh, in-room video equipment. We have printers. We have services that wrap around all of them with some magic AI on top of it. Well, of course, personal systems. Well, I mean, personal systems, that's where it's at. I mean, AI PC. I mean, look, there's all these AI like, printers oscillators too. and vacuum tubes in here, and I want to kind of go in there and start wiring stuff up. You know, oh. The old audio nerd in me wants to just like set up a cool, really great sounding speaker system. But uh, man, we move fast. No, we have. And moving fast, we've talked a lot about AI and AI, whether it's in PCs and, oh, by the way, in print. And we're going to talk about AI in print. I mean, we, we talked about this with Tuan, but let's get the double click on HP Print AI. Welcome, Mary 6.5. We've had we talked a lot of print here on the 6.5. Let's talk about HP Print AI. Let's do it. Thanks for having me. Uh, how does HP Print AI work and what, what makes it stand out from other AI and print technologies? Yeah. So what we built was an intelligent print platform with AI capabilities that understands the print flow and how to print it best. So how do we do this? Well, we understand what you're trying to print, whether it's an Excel document or a web page or an even an email. And there's a lot that we can actually infer from that. And from our HP Print language model and a contextual awareness, natural language processing, we can then provide you with the recommended layouts. And from there, our customers actually engage with our intelligent agent, telling it what it thought of our feedback and making our language model more intelligent over time so that we can continue to provide you with those perfect outputs. Now, in terms of how ours is different, ours is the first. We have the first intelligent print experience for home, office, and large format printing. We're leading the way, and we are redefining how the world prints, and we're really excited about that. That's great. I mean, just so I understand it, like sometimes when I, I print a spreadsheet, right, I'll miss a column, and it'll, it, it's like one page, but it prints like 16 pages. Does this help with that? 100%. Okay. So it's going to, and it's going to, you know, reconstruct your page in the most logical format for you. You're moving those white spaces, page breaks. You've got it. It's going to get the perfect print for you the first time and every time. And then even on a web page, sometimes it'll print out the header, then the footer. Like I want to print like oh, two pages yeah. and I get like 27 pages and I have to do it. Will it, will this actually help me with that? A hundred percent. And you're going to be able to easily converse with it using natural language to tell it how you want it formatted if it's not exactly right for you. It's great. So in your background, you have extensive experience, software, hardware, experience, everything. What about this personally excites you and why do you think this should excite the people listening? I mean, honestly, everything about this <laughs> excites me. We are revolutionizing the way the world prints and we are providing our customers with smart, simple, and seamless experiences. And with the latest technology, we're able to solve industry-wide problems and friction that has existed for many, many years. And so making print simple, making it collaborative, make it yeah. you know, fun. And that's really just the start, right? Yeah, I mean, think an example she cited are just like ones that have been there for like Decade, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, you know. How many times I have to still troubleshoot wireless wireless printers. <laughs> run, run. We're gonna fix that for you. I mean, we're, <laughs> I know, but I'm saying, like, you know, the, we can get excited about future stuff. You know, we talked to Tuan about being able to take like a physical environment or like a, a, a big drawing of an architectural and be able to like scan it in. Yeah, and absolutely. Trend. Awesome. I just want to connect. Those <laughs> rare times I'm still, you know, needing to print a form or you know, I want to take something with me really quickly, like. I want, you know, just to work. So, I mean, totally. it sounds like we got both spectrums, like really big innovation. We do. And also just like blocking and tackling. And I think we are starting with what I would say are some of the foundational things that you talked about from the simple setup to the actual output of printing and scanning yeah. and also the support. But we are looking at how we build those value add capabilities on top. So, so is this like kind of a good example of, you know, the taking feedback from consumers? You know, we're, we're consumers here. We're giving you feedback. But like yeah. taking examples. Uh, having it influence kind of uh, HP print AI. Yeah. And then, of course, um, you know, I'd also love to hear a little bit about where does security, privacy get woven into this as well? Because that's another big thing is AI proliferates. Everybody's thinking about, yeah. is it secure? 
Yeah, I mean, I think there's really two things in there that you said, right? Obviously, we're taking customer feedback here. So if you look at where we're really starting with our AI roadmap, it's with that perfect output capability, yeah. right? And so when we look at the data that backs that up, we know that more than 50% of all print jobs are from browsers. So we're working on the browser first to make sure we get that perfect output. And then when we look at office printing, we know that a quarter of all print jobs are from the office and largely from Excel. And so we're going to fix that for you the first time and every time. Now, in terms of where security fits into it, right, security and privacy are the cornerstone of all of our um, products, services, and offerings at HP. And data and transactions are secure, right? Everything from using our secure practices and standards to protocols and encryption. And we make sure of this by going through rigorous security and compliance reviews. And on top of that, we're fully embracing our latest AI governance principles that are on our website, right? We're taking this incredibly serious. Yeah, and I'm really glad to, I mean, I know you don't do personal systems, you do printers, but to me, if I look at the technologies that go into securing PCs and printers, I think it would help to have a PC part of the company to yeah. help on security. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. This is good. So we talked a little bit about kind of your philosophies of integrating AI into print. Uh, we talked about HP Print AI, a real, uh, a real uh, problem solver uh, yeah. that, that that's here right now. Let's talk a little bit about the future. Where do you see AI in the future of print? Yeah, I honestly think there are endless possibilities for AI and print, right? From scan to setup to support. But I really think that's just the start. As I was saying, it's really about those value adding customer features that we can add on top. And we're thinking everything from workflow to enterprise solutions, marketplace integrations to creativity. We want to build it all. Awesome. Well, that. Mary, I want to thank you so much for spending a little time here on the 6.5 with Patrick and I. Congratulations about all the success and all the announcements here at HP Imagine. Look forward to sort of tracking as analysts, you know, how it's being adopted, how it's being utilized, and then again, having you back soon to, to share more. I hope so. Cooler day, though. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. This is great. And thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you joining us. We are here at the HP Garage in Palo Alto, California. This is where Silicon Valley began, Patrick. This is where we are talking about HP Imagine and all the innovation across the HP ecosystem. Hit that subscribe button, join us for more, but we got to say goodbye for now. See y'all later.